Welcome back, guys, to the Recruiter Call Channel, where we make the call for you. And in today's call, we're looking at Watson Town Trucking out of Milton, PA, I believe. Watson Town Trucking. Check it out, though. I caught these guys early last year. <laughs> I called. I made a lot of calls last year. But something told me to give these guys a call back and see what they have to offer. Is it still salary? Is it still hourly? Is it Has it changed the cent per mile? Well, we did give them a call back to find out that some of the stuff that we talked about last year has changed for this year. With that said, let's get into the call. Town Trucking, Tony speaking. Okay, Tony, sorry about that. I'm on, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm on I-80 right now, and my my connection is kind of kind of shoddy. Um, all right, so thank you, uh, thank you for the return call, man. Um, friend of mine uh, sent me. Uh, you know, sent me you guys' phone number because I was last week. I was at the uh, where was I? I? I think I was on the Turnpike in Ohio, and it was funny that okay. that uh that I kind of woke up to the truck in front of me. <laughs> so oh, you okay. know, I reached out to I one of my. You. Yeah, I reached out to one of my Facebook friends because you know we was talking about different trucking companies and. He was like, yeah, Watson. He was like, yeah, I know about that. So uh, you mind if I take a moment of your time to to, to find out what you guys have sure, to offer? Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, let me quickly ask you how long you've been driving. I've been driving for seven years. Okay. Uh, we do have a no pet policy and a no rider policy as well. So I just thought I'd get that out there before we continue. Okay. Well that was that was one of my uh that was one of my questions. So yes, that's that's not a that's not a that's not a problem. Not a not an issue. Um being that I got okay. seven years, how how many years how how much experience do you guys require? Two years. Okay. Okay. Uh, what what lanes do you guys run? I, I I notice a lot of you guys running through Ohio, but what lanes do you guys run? Do y'all run Canada as well? We run, we run all, I'll be honest. We run all forty eight states per se. Okay. Okay. So just all forty eight yeah. states. No no particular region or anything like that. Oh, uh, no no particular. Just the forty eight that we do cover okay um are are the coverage uh force dispatched no sir oh, okay okay awesome awesome all right uh pre-employment yeah. pre-employment drug testing hair follicles or urine or both it's urine oh urine oh okay okay uh yeah since you're hiding something then i'll do a, i'll do a follicle then Hold on, run it by me again. I'm. I was just kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, 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 no drug failure here. Uh, but I will ask you. <laughs> I will ask you this: Do you guys accept SAP drivers? Uh, SAP drivers, no. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what about the mileage pay? Uh, you say that you. You uh, don't do anything mileage pay itself. Oh, okay. Please explain. So you guys yeah, do we, percentage? We, we pay we pay by the we pay but no, we pay by the mile. Rather we pay by the hour. Oh you pay by the hour. Oh okay. Yes. So uh -huh. so how does Okay. So let me ask let me ask this then. So is is there like a certain time that I get paid by the hour? Like, do I get paid my full 70 hours? No, or? you get paid. You, no, you don't get paid your full 70 and unless you drove a full 70. We pay for all your on-duty time. You don't get paid for, for resetting. You don't get paid for resetting. You get paid for all your on-duty time. 
So even if you're driving and you're stuck in traffic, you're getting gas or anything like that, you're still getting paid. Oh, okay. 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 So what would, okay. So a person like me that got seven years, how much would I, would I get paid for the hour? What's my hourly pay? So you're looking at uh, doing what type of position? Where are you out of? I'm out of Ohio. Okay, so Ohio, I offer regional, which you're out five days, home for two. OTR has you out days or more. Uh, wait, wait, you kind of you kind of blacked out there after you said uh, home for two. Would would you say for OTR? OTR is out fourteen to twenty one days. Okay, all right. So how how much would I get paid? How much would I get paid by the hour? So if you're doing roughly about uh, 60 hours in a week and you're driving OTR, it's $1,836. Okay. Okay. So that's, so that's if I do the, the five days on two days off, it'll be 1800 a week. Right. Okay. 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 It sounds sounds interesting. It sounds different because you know I'm so used to of, of you know calculating and chasing miles and everything. This would be something totally different. Uh, you mind if I ask a crazy question? Why you guys decided to go? Sure. Why you guys decided to go uh, per hour versus uh, per mile? So you're stuck in. You're stuck. They say you're getting paid by the mile, right? Right. And you're stuck in traffic. Guess who's not getting paid? You got a point there. <laughs> Good point. So with us, if you're stuck in traffic, you're getting paid. Oh, okay, okay. If you're getting gas, you're getting paid. If you're at a way station, you're getting paid. Okay. And so let's say you are getting paid by the mile. And all of a sudden, you are in that traffic jam for two hours. Guess what? You're going to need to make up that time. So what are you going to do? Got to make it up with it the miles. It falls to the wall, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, you got to make them up somehow by driving unsafe. So that's why we went that route. Okay. Now, you know, since you were saying, uh, you know, being stuck in traffic and everything, what, but what I didn't hear is about we at the, at the shippers and receivers. So... Usually, I will go as well. If you're being, if you even if you're stuck there, we're still paying you. Okay, okay. Because usually, us drivers usually go off duty to save the time. But here, I will have to stay on yeah, duty in order to get paid. Yep. Okay, okay. That's understandable. That's understandable. All right. Um. Yeah. The 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 equipment. Uh, I wasn't sure. I know the truck was blue, but what's the equipment that you guys uh, that you guys have, and what are they governing that? So we we run Mack Volvo Kenworth Internationals, governed at sixty five miles an hour with an inward and an outward facing cam. Gotcha. As far as the equipment, can we choose, or is what? Is what's available. I wish you could, but you can't. Unfortunately, we don't we're not, we don't have that luxury to do that. Gotcha. All right. You mentioned the driver facing cameras, some of some of which is a big deal, yes, but it's not a big deal to me. Uh, uh -huh. do you guys do you guys offer any type of leasing? Uh, you know, leasing program there or no? I don't handle I don't handle that. We don't do that. We don't do any leasing. We do owner operators. We don't do leasing. Okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, my home time. We already went over went over that driver and pet policy. We definitely went over that. Um, sign on mm -hmm. bonus, if any. No, sir. All right. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate the call back. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. The 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 um. Uh, I'm I'm still trying to get a trying to get a feel for this uh. Uh, per you know per hour thing, but eighteen hundred dollars a week is okay. not bad. 
Not bad at all. So, guys, what do you guys think of that call? Watson Town Trucking out of Milton, PA. They have Home Daily, Home Weekly, OTR, and dedicated and regional routes available. From competitive hourly pay to comprehensive benefits, additional perks, they take care of their drivers and they value their hard work. Well, as you guys know, they don't have cent per mile. They don't do cent per mile. They figure, why do cent per mile? You know, it keeps the truck safe, keeps the truck running. You get paid by the hour. You get paid by every on-duty hours that you're on duty for. Of course, you got to go off duty for your 30, but the rest of the hours that you're on duty, you will get paid. Just make sure that when you get to a shipper and or receiver, you stay on duty. Because if you don't, you will not get paid. <laughs> but uh, how do you guys feel about that? How do you guys feel about that? I mean, he says that you would get $1,800 every week if you'd stay on duty. You work five days a week, you're off two days, which IE, I believe, is probably might be your 34 hour reset. You come back on, do it all over again. So you figure 1800 depending on your taxes, you'll take home about a good $1,500. Now, I'm not sure how that worked out as far as uh, hourly pay because he pretty much didn't go into too much detail of how much you actually start by the hour. Like, is it $30 an hour? Is it $40 an hour? Uh, basically, he just pretty much gave it to me in a nutshell. $1,800. Hundred dollars, but I went to their website, and their starting weight breakdown is: if you're home daily, it is twenty-two dollars an hour. Local flatbed twenty-eight fifty an hour. Regional flatbed thirty-one dollars and fifty cent an hour. Regional no unload is twenty-five dollars an hour. Regional unloading is $25.75. OTR no unloading, $27.50 an hour. And OTR unloading is $28.25 an hour. Oh, the following 30 days of employment, full-time employees are eligible for comprehensive benefit package, which includes national medical, prescribed prescription, vision, dental, life, short-term disability, 401k, and mutual Omaha insurance. Additional perks is offered by the company. Of course, you get weekly pay, orientation pay, since paid holidays, Paid vacation packages, award achievements, yearly reviews, quarterly safety bonus, and recruiting bonus. No sign-on bonus. So if you guys are interested in Watson Town Trucking, the information will be in the description below. Give them a call. Let them know Lockout Men sent you. Guys, if you drove for Watson Town Trucking, let us know. How's that hourly pay working out? Is it true what he says that you will actually get $1,800 a week? Is hourly pay worth it? Is it better than getting percent? Or, yeah, is it better than getting percentage pay or uh, CM, uh, cent per mile? The reason why they're not doing cent per mile is, again, safety reasons. All right, let us know in the comments below. Who's next? Next.